In, in today's video, we'll be looking at praise and worship, and the difference between them. So stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and welcome to Anime C. Anime C is for you who like original series and movies, as well as clean anime and manga reviews. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Before I get started, if you're interested in the rest of the series, then click on the video card above and watch that one before this one. The second thing, I am not saying it all churches are like this or all pastors are like this. I'm just trying to get rid of the mindset that we created the church to be. In the seven things that make up the church, we learn that praise and worship teams lead you into worship before the pastor speaks. So what is praise and worship and what is the difference between those two? We will be discussing it in this video. First, let's look at the definition of praise. The definition of praise is express one's respect and gratitude towards a deity, especially in song. So praise is the expression we give back to God, sort of like your praise of a child for doing a good job. But this praise is because we are children of God and we are respecting and praising our Father for creating us. Our first scripture is Psalm 30, verse 4. Sing all you who remain faithful. Pour out your hearts to the eternal with praise and melodies. Let grateful music fill the air and bless his name. Our second scripture is Psalm 47, verse 5 through 8. The true God ascends the throne acclaimed by shouts of the people. The eternal is announced by the blast of a trumpet. Sing, shout, play instruments, praise our God and King. Sing praises to him who is worthy, for he is the King of all the earth. Sing praise all who can. Put words to music and then sing praises at the feet of God who sits on his holy throne ruling over all the nations. As you see, praise is giving thanks back to God as we give thanks to our parents, but something has gone wrong, and much Christian music has confused praise and worship by combining into one style, thinking they are all in one. You see, a praise song to me is being able to dance and express myself to God. But a lot of churches seem to want to express it, but in a much more intimate way. And sometimes that's a good thing. But what I see is that most churches use this slow dance to God most of the time, rather than taking him on a date. You see these praise songs in church, Mighty God Saves, all the time, and they've considered that to be a praise. A praise, when I hear it, makes me want to jump for joy, makes me want to dance, wants me to do other things. I don't want to just sit there listening and being intimate. There are times and places for that. But in this clip that I'm about to show, it is, it is from one of my favorite songs called Turn the Praise Up. As you see in this clip, all the music has this upbeat uh, feel. It makes you want to express that self. And that's what praise is. You want to express yourself express whether the music's good or not, but that type of praise is to express who God is and how we should express ourselves in a much more intimate way. Now that we know what praise is, what is worship? Well, a definition of worship is reverent honor and homage paid to God or a sacred personage or to any object regarded as sacred. You see, this is a respect of our creator, and worship is slower, like having a date with your creator as we listen and soak into the spirit, like a slow dance. In this clip I'm about to show you is called Mighty God Saves, and it's a much slower song. And it's being on a date, and the slow music starts, and it's about being more intimate with God. That is what it's for. My 
as you see in this clip, it is trying to get more intimate with God. And it's sort of like being on that date and the music goes slow and you're trying to get to know the person more and having a more relationship with them. It's just you and God. Now that you have a better understanding of it, let's look at what happened over the years and why it's lost its luster. As you see, most Christian music comes off boring, like none of the artists are enjoying themselves. It's sort of like having a fake face on everything. There's no creativity in their work, and it's the same song over and over and over in radio and church, and it gets old after a while. Praise and worship music should be free to express their own creativity within each church instead of copying other churches or popular songs. They should have their own creativity to make new original praise and worship songs that glorifies God. And it should not be just for the talented, but for the congregation to interact with it. Not the same leader week after week after week. Praise and worship teams should have fun with their music and not be set by a set of rules of doing the same thing expecting a different result. And have new people to express new creativity in the team. Have the congregation involved. Create something unique like something we've never heard before. Take a risk. Maybe one day your song will become popular. The whole idea is to be different from the world and not the same. So in the comments below, tell me what are some of your favorite praise and worship songs and what would you like to see in praise and worship. And join me next time where we will discuss tithes and offering. And never forget, Animated Christians is animating just for you.